got nothing to do with uh, something but I'm not sure what you mean by that. Yeah, okay. The, uh, that we change an age is presently an idea because there is no ageing. There is only disappearance of a character that looks maybe a certain age. And what is the story is um, the ideas that appear that say um, uh, this character was once 20 years old in 30, 40, whatever. Um, and there are certain memories here that seem to corroborate that. Um, I have a sister who is seven years younger than me and all the rest of it. But right now there is just this. Just this room. The appearance of a room with all of these characters. This is the present configuration of appearances in awareness. But then we go on to say that actually nothing happened and the rest didn't happen. In fact, there's no happening at all. That's right. Which is strangely there's rich, just this. reassuring here, but, uh, but the bit in between. Yeah, I, I okay. don't get. You know. So there is just this, and it's nothing more than an idea happening in this, happening presently, that there was another time, that there is a past, that there will be a future. That is the story itself. There's just this. Of course, we've got the verifications of photographs and stuff like that. But that's right, that's but they're only appearing presently. Photographs only appear presently in a wings. The idea arises with the looking at the photo photograph that that was taken 20 years ago. But that's just an idea that is associated with the looking at this photograph which is appearing presently. So what so where does that leave us with memory? What is Nothing has any history. That photograph was never taken. It's appearing spontaneously, presently. Even though you could identify the person who would verify with you, oh yeah, I remember taking that photo. Yes, but that'll be happening presently. The mind here, of course, it really needs to understand this properly. No understanding <laughs> is needed. <laughs> you see, For what? You see, it's another struggle, you know. Yeah, but, but you see, you say understanding is needed. For what? It's... Is it not just another idea that understanding is needed for, and then whatever we might like to term it, clarity, enlightenment, or, you know, whatever? Sure, but when you start looking at everything in detail like that, I don't even know what the word understanding means. It can mean mm. standing under, what does that mean? <laughs> but, I mean, the whole thing starts being called into so massive maybe, That's right, we're into the whole story again. Whereas, without any need to examine any of that, to look at any of it, there's just this. Just this, whether there's discomfort or confusion, and all of this... Or a sense of this isn't enough. Yes, exactly, whatever. yes, a sense of lack, a sense of I have done something wrong. All of this is happening in what we are, in our, in what we are, in, in the, let's say, in the bigger, in the whole sense, rather than I as an entity. It's not happening to me. That's from the point of view when this entity is assumed that it's happening to me. It's happening in me, as me. Yeah, the sense is that it's got to go somewhere to lead to... To, to what? To, to That's lead right. to but why does it need to lead to something? What's wrong with this as it is with being? Well, it must be the sense of insufficiency that impels yes. the idea. Right, so this sense of insufficiency, isn't this also just something else that's happening? It's not due to anything, it's not caused by anything, but it's just simply arising presently a sense of insufficiency or lack and then a story is associated with that that says we need to be rid of this sense of lack, of insufficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas in fact the story 
and the sense of insufficiency or lack or whatever is just happening in this that we are, as this. Just happening in presence. Yeah. And the parallel fear in the sense that there's a resistance which is maybe um, deliberately trying to frustrate the process, which appears to be coming from within as well. Um, that's also part of the story. Of course, yeah. But it begs the question of what is there to see to see beyond that. There is nothing Shrugged. beyond. There is nothing beyond. Beyond is just an idea. The beyond is just a hopeful idea that this can't just be it. There must be something else. Something behind the scenes. But in this timeless moment of being, whatever is appearing is all there is. Maybe there are also ideas appearing that there are other planes, realms, that there's astral, causal, whatever names might be given to this, but those are just ideas. Okay, like suddenly, let's say then suddenly this room dissolves and there's a, you're in some, uh, some uh, astral realm that seems to be all full of beings and light and colours and beauty and that, then that'll be reality. But presently it's just a story, just an idea. Yeah, and this particular mind doesn't take me down this avenue, but you mentioned just now there's any timeless moment of being. Yeah, but when there is that, let's say, put it in those terms, when when there is that timeless moment of being and it is known, then that's all that's needed. I mean, you're, you're completely, mm. I won't call it transported or, or, or something for a while, but that's completely full. It, it, there's, there's no wish to be anywhere else, if I remember right. Yeah. Pro probably most people here experience a timeless moment of being. But when it's not uh, known as a timeless moment of being, it feels oppressive, it feels... Yes. It feels feels very, very contracted, it feels so extremely this uncomfortable. Yes, yeah, so this, this, compar this comparing that happens, that's happening here, um, that this feels right, this doesn't feel right. This is chalk and cheese, I mean, so yeah. So one's totally unsatisfying and one's totally satisfying. Yes, that's right. But when it's all allowed, when it's all simply um, arising, presently without an attempt to change um, any of it to to get rid of the unsatisfactory um, to get rid of the bad stuff and in with the good stuff when there's not this whole game going on there is simply what is whether it's what perhaps you would label unpleasant or whether it's pleasant but it, Without even the, with the, without the labelling um, and the you know the idea that anything needs to be different, then it's all just as it is in each moment. Feelings, if, you know, if there are uncomfortable feelings, that's fine. If there's an idea here that this can't be right, that's also fine. But when the story is believed, that you know, when when uh, there's this focus in the story, this immersion in the story, that it's not fine, um, something needs to change, then um, that seems, within the story, within the play itself, to perpetuate that, to, to um, harden this focus, if you like, to concretize this sense of being an entity that is subject to all of this that is uncomfortable 